Fiverr stock is down, way down. It's plummeted over 80% over the last 12 months. It was once over $300 per share and is now sitting at around $30 per share. Should this be scary? And most importantly, should this be something that freelancers like me and you are worried about? Well, this week Fiverr did have a webinar to discuss their Q1 results this year. Micah Kaufman, Fiverr's CEO, and Ofer Katz, Fiverr's CFO, had some pretty interesting insights to share. Insights that I think could mean some super positive things are coming down the pipe from Fiverr in the next couple of years. Now before I get into all of that, just really quick disclaimer that nothing about this video should be taken as financial advice. I'm just letting you know what Fiverr's leadership team said in the webinar and my personal opinions on what that might mean for Fiverr. So. Last quarter, Fiverr actually had an increase in revenue, but their leadership team still adjusted their forecast for the future outlook of how much they expect to make over the coming year. Ofer Katz, the CFO I was talking about, mentioned that he thinks a lot of this has to do with a downturn in their European business. A downturn affected by what they're calling macro factors, and I'm assuming that these macro factors have something to do with the war that's currently being waged in Europe. All that aside, Micah actually started the call by introducing a pretty interesting topic and a pretty interesting strategy that he says Fiverr is heading towards, and it was called Talent as a Service. He introduced the concept by painting a picture for us viewers, explaining how talent as a service might influence Fiverr in the years to come. Basically, it's a whole new way that businesses, typically more complex businesses with more complex projects, can interact with and leverage Fiverr to get these types of projects done more efficiently. So imagine a project where a huge company is revamping their brand. They need a new website created. They need a new marketing campaign to drive users to that website. They need copywriting done for those landing pages to help convert people. Typically projects like this would require a business to go out and hire each individual freelancer to get everything done. And then it's up to the business to kind of piece everything together and make sense of the project. With this new talent as a service model that Michael was introducing, the business would be able to just place an order for a large project they need done and Fiverr would see it through to completion. Fiverr would assign the right freelancers for the right type of the project, manage the project management, and bring that project through until it's done and ready for delivery. This is very interesting. It's an opportunity for Fiverr to sell this talent as a service to clients that would pay extra to have things streamlined, would pay extra to save themselves time, and would pay extra to make the whole process of outsourcing freelance work a whole lot easier. And from the buyer's perspective, this would obviously be something that comes at a premium because you're not doing it all yourself. And I think there's a pretty good chance that this premium gets passed down to the freelancers as well. And also, just a, another thought on this, since Fiverr would be facilitating the project management of these projects, assigning freelancers based on who they deem would be the best fit for a particular project, it seems like this would present a new opportunity for freelancers to build a strong brand for themselves by doing excellent work being super easy to work with through any sort of Fiverr talent as a service project, giving them a better chance to be selected for more future projects. It seems like another opportunity that freelancers can carve out a niche for themselves and really specialize on a specific type of service. Like I'm imagining there'll be some sellers who specialize in catering to this talent as a service offering or these new talent as a service type of clients similar to how you get get orders from like a Fiverr Select or a Fiverr business client, I think talent as a service will be a new identifier that Fiverr puts out there to say, hey, this is a talent as a service client, do excellent work and we'll give you more of these types of orders. I think that's really exciting. 
So I think this all sounds pretty awesome, but like everything, we'll have to wait and see how it plays out. But what do you think? Do you think that talent as a service is something that's gonna really help Fiverr become a platform that is getting way more business from large business clients? And is that business going to be good for freelancers? Are our wages gonna go up? Is the consistency or the stability of our freelance earnings if we're able to crack the code for being a freelancer that caters to talent as a service going to go up? Is it gonna be better for everybody? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really interested to hear what you think, maybe have a conversation about it. So thank you so much for watching and until next time, cheers.